So I've been working in the NHS for about 10 years. Hernias is one of the most common presentations and operations that we deal with. So essentially we make a cut over the hernia, push the hernia back in, and then we use a mesh to go on top of that defect. So if we didn't use a mesh, the recurrence rate can be up to 50% or more. Whereas if you use a mesh and it's done properly, the recurrence rate is less than 2%. What I think is important is that not all mesh operations are the same. It's completely different to the mesh that's getting a lot of bad publicity. If we can reduce the cost of mesh in the NHS, then that would be a massive saving. We use upwards of 100,000 meshes every year in the NHS. After travelling to Tanzania, I you know, developed kind of an interest in global surgery. What they were doing was using mosquito netting. So after doing some research, I found that from the late 1990s, there's been surgeons in particular, I think India is where it started, and Sub-Saharan Africa, in particular Ghana, where they had been using this mosquito netting as an alternative. Only patients that could afford to buy commercially available mesh were able to get a mesh hernia repair. Naturally, we, we thought, well, why don't we provide this mosquito netting to our projects and our partnerships in KCMC. We managed to source some mosquito netting. We cut it, we sterilized it here in the UK, and we took it over with us, and we provided it to the surgeons there. We have not uh, seen patients coming back with complaints of uh, the complications related to the mesh. So we've had uh, the partnership with Northumbria NHS Trust for the last 20 years. Having the mesh repair surgery perfected here at KCMC and further developed by the team from KCMC and Northumbria is really something to be very proud of. You know, after communicating with the surgeons and working with them, we wanted to develop the mesh. Instead of using just mosquito netting, we wanted to have similar characteristics to the commercially available mesh. So that's when we went to the source, the factories itself that make the mesh, and managed to source a mesh very similar to the commercially available meshes we have back home. So I've came to Tanzania on this trip as part of an innovation fellowship sponsored by THET. The next step will be approaching the government agency that's responsible for the introduction of medicines and medical products and devices within the NHS. You know, through our personal experience and through our partnerships with the people in KCMC, the NHS can benefit from low and middle income settings. When you're faced with issues that you might not see here maybe once in 20 years and you see it out there every week, you have to develop strategies and ways of coping. You have to make do with what you've got and it really brings out the best in people.